Welcome back to Optimal Anesthesia. Today, we're diving into a topic that's both fascinating and absolutely crucial for our daily practice, the assessment of gastric volume prior to anesthesia. We'll explore why it's so important and how it's revolutionizing our field. You're in the operating room, ready to administer anesthesia. You've got your team, your equipment, and your patient on the table. But have you ever wondered what's happening inside your patient's stomach and why it matters so much? Anesthesia is our realm of expertise, our domain of control. But it's not without its risks, and one of the gravest risks is the possibility of gastric aspiration. Gastric aspiration, where stomach contents find their way into the airway during anesthesia, is a nightmare scenario for us. It can lead to devastating complications like pneumonia, acute respiratory distress syndrome, and worse. So, how do we steer clear of this perilous situation? Well, that's where assessing gastric volume comes into play. It's a game changer that helps us predict and prevent trouble before it starts. Now, let's dissect why this assessment is absolutely critical. Gastric emptying time, the rate at which the stomach empties, is like traffic on a busy freeway. Sometimes it flows smoothly, and other times, it's jam-packed. This variability depends on various factors, including the patient's diet, age, and even their stress levels. Think of it this way. When your patient's stomach is slow to empty, it's akin to them being stuck in traffic when they're running late for an important appointment. This is where ultrasound technology enters the stage. With the power of ultrasound, we, as anesthesiologists, can peer inside the stomach, almost like having x-ray vision. We can visualize how full or empty it is and, most importantly, make informed decisions about the timing of anesthesia. It's rapid, it's non-invasive, and it's remarkably precise. Imagine having a tailored anesthesia plan for each patient, one that's based on their unique gastric emptying time. But how does it work in practice? Picture yourself in the OR. The patient is positioned semi-recumbently, and a healthcare professional applies a water-soluble gel to the patient's abdomen, right over the stomach area. Then, they take a high-frequency ultrasound probe, which looks like a magic wand, and gently place it on the patient's belly. With this wand, they can see inside the stomach, almost like peering into a crystal ball. They measure something called the gastric antral cross-sectional area, or GAXA. Think of it as the size of a parking space inside the stomach. A bigger parking space means the stomach is fuller. This information guides us in deciding the ideal time to initiate anesthesia, how to position the patient, and whether any additional precautions are necessary. And the best part? It's all done in real time. So, what does all of this mean for us, the anesthesiologists? It means we're on the brink of a new era in anesthesia, where we can deliver safer, more tailored experiences for our patients. It means a reduced risk of complications, a shield against the lurking dangers of gastric aspiration, and the ability to confidently ensure the highest level of patient safety. In this rapidly evolving era of medical technology, where precision meets care, incorporating such crucial assessments as a standard part of our practice is not just a step forward, it's a quantum leap in patient care. And there you have it, my esteemed colleagues, the pivotal role of gastric ultrasound in anesthesia, paving the way toward optimal patient outcomes. I hope this episode has illuminated the path showing why assessing gastric volume is nothing short of indispensable in our daily work. As we conclude this episode of Optimal Anesthesia, I urge you to embrace this technology, hone your skills, and continue to be champions of patient safety. Thank you for tuning in today, and remember, in the world of anesthesia, our mission is crystal clear to provide care that is not just good but optimal. 
Until our next episode, stay vigilant, stay compassionate, and continue to make a difference in the lives of those we serve.